hey guys welcome back to my channel so today is actually going to be a vlog i think it's going to be quite an emotional video i'm not gonna lie because i'm actually going to manchester for the first time in months like it's literally been so so long basically me and my mum are going back today because i'm basically going to be moving out of my room packing everything up and just basically bringing it all back here so finally we're actually able to go and collect our stuff and i'm actually so so sad to be leaving that room because i actually love my room so much now that i'm obviously not going to be living there i can actually tell you like my accommodation if you didn't already know because before i just didn't really want to say just in case you know someone tried to stalk me and like found out where i lived and all that stuff for obvious privacy reasons i just didn't say but now that i'm moving out like none of my stuff is going to be there of course i will literally tell you guys so yeah we're going to drive up to manchester it's currently nearly 10 o'clock so we're going to leave like any minute but yeah i don't even want to think about how much stuff i have it's mostly clothes that i'm worried about like i don't really have like other stuff or maybe i do i just can't remember but it's just mostly like clothes but yeah i'm just gonna take you guys along with me i thought this would be nice to kind of just like look back on it as well like in the future um and just kind of like my last video in my room i really wish i filmed more in that room and did more vlogs at uni like first year but it's fine whatever i don't know how interesting you guys are gonna find this but just kind of like it's for myself really this video just because i want to look back on this day you know but i'm literally just gonna quickly just go over my hair but what i'm most worried about with like packing up all my stuff and bringing it back here is just i don't know where i'm gonna put stuff because all of my drawers are pretty much full i did empty out a few drawers from just like clothes i don't want anymore but i would honestly keep an eye on my depop in the next few days or the next few weeks or whatever which is always linked down below my username is linked down below um because i feel like i'm gonna be selling a lot of clothes that i just know I just know I'm not going to be wearing anymore. I just do not have this space. Like, once we move into our new house, I'll have a nice big wardrobe. But if you guys know my room, like, the only place I can put my clothes is literally in those drawers there. And I'm trying to squeeze all your clothes in eight drawers. It's just not... It's just not possible. And, like, they're already full. And I have so... You guys will see. You guys will see how much stuff I have there. The bad thing is I'm here now and, like, all my clothes are still at uni and I just don't feel like I'm missing anything. But maybe that's because I'm just not... I'm not going out. I'm just wearing joggers every day. For anyone who is going to Manchester in September, I will tell you, like, what halls I'm in and how I got them and stuff because I have been getting so many, so many DMs about it. Um, but I just haven't really answered anything because I don't really want anyone to go break in. Not that I think they, they would because I don't know how you'd get in without a key card, but... You know what I mean. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to finish getting ready. And then I'll probably see you guys there. We need to like put suitcases and stuff in the car. I need some breakfast. So yeah, we'll see you in a sec. <laughs> guys, I'm back. <gasps> it honestly feels so weird being like back here. Like it just doesn't feel like my home anymore. But yeah, I am back. And yeah. This is basically my home guys feels weird but we literally got here so quickly it only took like two hours so yeah why well, am i nervous got our suitcases got some black bags and yeah it's so empty there's literally nobody here no one even in the car park but yeah we're here it's my last time that i'm probably ever gonna be here if anyone moves here please invite me um for a house party please home sweet home <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my <laughs> oh, it smells like me. Give me your parcel someday. Oh my god, my stuff arrived! I thought I got lost. That's a 300 pound one. Really? Oh my god. It always is this clean. <laughs> these parcels got lost 300 pound parcel in there wow oh my god there's so much man i miss this place i'm gonna miss this beautiful view you can literally see the city yeah no australia god that's why you don't get much inquiry because that's what can you do i feel right at home with my bloody slippers on from primark Fast thing to go. I don't think any of my other flatmates are here, I'm not gonna lie. Don't even know if I'll ever see them again. But 
Oh, my kitchen. Of course, it's still a mess. Let me turn these lights on. Can I just say, I also loved this Hoover so much. I Hoovered my room every single day. I freaking love this. Hoover, I guess I'll give you a proper little tour now. So we have this massive smart TV. Guys, honestly, what I loved about this place was that it was just so open and it was just absolutely massive. So you have like the sofa area. Here's a view from the kitchen. I just love these massive windows. By the way, I'm in Tawny Block for anyone who actually cares, but oh, I just feel like I just, I feel like I didn't spend enough time in here. It's actually so sad. Our table, which had like 10 seats on it for all of us. Oh, I don't even know what's in that cupboard, but here's our kitchen. It is still kind of a mess. To be honest, that is disgusting. That's vile, God, that's literally been like that for three months. But these were basically mine. I don't know whose those were. But these were basically my cupboards, this one. And then this one, I really don't have much stuff left in here though. But yeah, this was basically our kitchen, our bins. I'm so glad that we had like two sinks. because There's actually 10 of us living in this flat, so it is like a lot of people. But because of how like big and spacious it is, it never felt like really... Um, cramped you know what i mean but by the way if you are going to move to unsworth if you are going to be living here i would definitely recommend getting side cabinets like bottom and top and like this was like my little area like i used to literally cook my food here like prepare my food i would definitely recommend that like i couldn't imagine having that do you know what i mean like that's that's a bit annoying having it right in the middle and then this was my fridge i mean no one cares i don't even want to open that because it's probably shit in there that i don't want to see oh, i just i just loved that so much and then yeah everyone's rooms down here i just i'm gonna miss this place and then my room here 230 oh man jumpers these were my clothes i finally had organized them for what my coats oh that is pretty much my wardrobe empty i've just gotta do all of my heels down there and then i've got my bags and then all of the section which is pretty full this is literally all hoodies in here and jumpers i keep finding stuff that i've literally never seen in my life like these pair of jeans from pretty little thing oh. still have the tag on never seen them in my life <music> never forget my 83 pound custom charge from img fuck you going to make a quick snack guys this is why you always have a small tin of beans at hand <sighs> i'm gonna go make some beans on toast yes yeah, mine <laughs> feels like old times isn't it <laughs> this is where i used to put her up while i cooked my dinner also i don't know why i bought all these like spices i thought yeah, i'd try to like I think I tried to make myself feel better about <laughs> Keep it then! You never saw this angle of my kitchen I don't know if someone brought it because we didn't have one. Oh god the view Um what? Yeah it's my my rice i never cook because i always bought packet rice i would also highly recommend this plate this plate was my favorite thing to eat out of i use this every day this plate it's about two o'clock now we've only been here like an hour but we've pretty much got everything done those are two whole suitcases full of just clothes but oh, i think i just want to take a minute like looking at my room this is actually crazy like it's just so there, like there's nothing on the walls obviously there's shit everywhere but like 
Oh, it's gonna look so like that to me is actually scary. You guys are going to Uni of Manchester and you guys get answer. It is just amazing. It's amazing, like as you can see, like having this for first year accommodation halls, like I was expecting the worst. So many of you like messaged me asking me what like accommodation I'm staying in, and obviously I just didn't want to say. But yeah, it is Unsworth. My boarding was tawny. I'm on the fifth floor, the highest floor. And honestly, one of my favorite things about this room was the view because obviously, like this is in Fallowfield, so it is quite far from the city, but like I just remember everyone just used to love the view from my room because you can literally, let me show you, you can literally see like all the skyscrapers of the city. Although in August, I literally will be living in that city. Thank God, because this is quite a trek from the city and that's just one thing that I absolutely hated. But I can't complain too much because my room, I just literally loved it so, so much. If anyone gets my room from this vlog, just know that I treated it very well. That's it, final touches. Got an empty bathroom now. God, I honestly, I look a mess. My room is empty. <gasps> Bye, view. Just on my way now to hand back in my key, but oh, this is so sad. Bye, Sophie's building. Bye, Meadow. Bye, the rest of you buildings over there I never literally went to. Oh, sad times. Bye, pool table. Oh, God, I had some fun in here, guys. I really did. Lounge around there, the little cinema room. Oh my god, seriously. We just lost the key for the car for one hour. Um, <laughs> this is the worst thing ever in my life, telling you. <laughs> oh. We literally, we lost the key. We've been searching for an hour. Only this door of the car opened. So we've been climbing through the back, trying to find it. My mum jumped in a bin. Oh my god, and we've just found it. We've we literally like look at the state of me. You can tell by the state of me how much stress I felt like crying. Hi guys, it is a long, long, long time after I vlogged. Now, guys, the reason I've not vlogged in hours and hours, it's currently like it's half ten now. I think the last time I vlogged was probably around four-ish maybe five-ish i don't even know but as you saw in the last two clips guys we have had a day from hell today like, i actually don't even know where we got all this bad luck from like i just i don't get it we were moving out everything fine like we had literally packed everything up and we're like beginning to bring it down within like an hour we went in my dad's building site car which is like a little bit rusty but it is like the biggest car that we have and it would fit the most stuff in but basically like the key on it no one even cares but basically we lost the key during moving everything like bringing stuff from my room to the car like we did five journeys up and down it was it was a lot so only the driver's seat was open like that was the only um door that was opening so we were literally thinking like oh my god it's probably just fallen in one of these bags or something but like obviously we couldn't take out all the bags that were already in the car and the car was already like loaded full and there were like a few bags already out we were literally searching for an hour my mum even jumped in the bin like a dumpster she jumped in the dumpster with gloves on trying to search for this key i was crawling from the driver's seat all the way to the back of the car into the boot and it was just it was a lot we were searching for about an hour trying to find this bloody key and while we were searching for the key the car alarm you know when like you were younger and you were sat in the car like at in the car park and test because when your mum just ran in and got a few things and the car alarm starts going off like ding, ding, ding. it was that for an hour for one hour i was literally going insane but we were literally giving up like we called my dad and he was gonna come and like pick us up anyway we luckily managed to find the key in one of the bags that we thought we'd already checked but i feel like you know when you're in like in a stressed mode and you're looking at stuff and you just like miss it that's probably what happened anyway i was so glad like i was on the verge of tears i was so stressed out because i was like we've literally come all this way anyway we were on the motorway on our way home and what happens to the car the tire gets punctured and we've not even made it to Birmingham. We've not even made it to the halfway point yet. We were literally on the road for about 40 minutes when this happened. We had to pull up to the hard shoulder. We called the RAC to come bring like a spare tire. And that took another like 50 minutes. So we had to drive all the way home. But honestly, yeah, it's just been crazy. That's basically why I've not vlogged. Because we just, everything to do with the car was basically going wrong. I've just left everything in the car. I don't even want to think about it. 
I don't want to touch any of it until tomorrow where I can actually like organize everything. So I literally need to do a huge sort out of my clothes because honestly like I haven't missed any of the clothes I have there. Obviously I've not been really going out so that's probably why because I've only just been wearing joggers. But I need to have a serious thought through and think about like what I want to keep and to be honest most of it will be going on Depop. So my Depop username is down below by the way and just keep an eye out on that because I will be uploading loads and loads of stuff on there so if you've seen any like things that you like on my instagram they probably will be on depop because i don't know i'm just over stuff and also a lovely surprise when i came into my room she's gonna turn this lamp on is my img parcel was there i genuinely thought that I got lost in the post it did get lost in the post and it said it'd been delivered but i never received it and it was just in my room do you know what today's just been weird honestly it's been weird but i'm just gonna take off my makeup now because honestly look at my face this is not it's not cute it's not cute at all and i'll probably catch up with you guys tomorrow when i'm like organizing my stuff i don't know if anyone actually finds it interesting but i need to get out these clothes as well because they're filthy wearing a white tracksuit was the worst idea when you've like moving stuff and like the car is filthy so guys my makeup is off i'm listening to some summer walker I feel like i was saying on my private story actually oh my god my eyebrow but i was saying how isn't it so weird how i was listening to the summer walker album like the other night and like when i was first obsessed with that album was like october november last year when i was at uni and like I don't know why, like, certain songs and albums literally take me back to how I was feeling in that exact moment. Like, it just, it's almost like deja vu, almost. Like it's a, such a weird feeling. But when I'm listening to these songs, I don't know, it just takes me back to the time where I would just literally play this album non-stop in my uni room. See, I'm so glad to have that makeup off. You know when you've had your makeup on your face for hours and hours and hours and it just doesn't look good at all anymore? And I've also got Vaseline all over my lips because my lips are quite chapped in the corner still um but in terms of my skin it's actually really good i don't actually have any active spots on my face right now this is just a scar which is going down and the rest are just scars i don't actually have any active spots on my face which is actually really really good for me um i'm slowly but surely sorting out my skin it is taking a while but it is getting there it's just kind of like the scars if you guys have any recommendations for how to get rid of scars let me know down below. I have got loads of like the ordinary products and stuff, which I'm going to start using them more. But um, for now, I am just using my benzoyl peroxide cream on my cheeks. That's for hormonal acne, by the way. Um, the doctor recommended it to me. But yeah, I'm now just going to, I'm going to watch that new film. It's called Three, what even is it called? Let me actually have a look. I've seen it all over TikTok. Some people said it's good. Some people said it's really bad. It's called like 365 something. I'm sure someone knows what I'm talking about. I think I'm going to watch that. It's like nearly half 11. So I might actually just watch that. I go to bed so late these days but i actually am just like a night owl like i prefer to stay up really late in the night so i've actually been listening to this playlist recently which is my feels playlist and it just has some more kind of like chill playlists because i don't always listen to this when i'm just in my feels like i do just listen to it for like chill music but if you guys want to know my spotify because i actually do get those questions on my spotify this is it this is the username it's literally the same as my instagram my username is the same everywhere basically i'm also loving this summer playlist at the moment as well like if i want to listen to like beat music i'll listen to that drake feels as well that's a get lit my feels my Punjabi playlist which has by the way these are like all really really old like classic songs i don't really listen to Punjabi music like that um good bollywood playlist has some all the classics that i love and yeah another chill playlist just an album with loads of drake disney album this album i don't know why is this not on public make public that's weird but this album is so good it's like all the tunes from 2017 which i was literally obsessed with so much in here when i listen to this this again it takes me back to a certain time in my life oh wait my netflix is loaded i'm sure it'll come up. this is it this is what i want to watch guys 365 dni but yeah i'm gonna watch this and i will let you guys know my thoughts in the morning about this film and yeah i will speak to you guys in the morning Look, guys, it is the morning, and a look at this mess. I literally have to climb over all of this shit and wait to see what's going on in the living room. So I'm organising all of my clothes into... Just look at this. I did. Hi. His first feature on the vlog. What? Say hello. This is my first feature. No, but, like, for this vlog it is? No, it isn't. When did you get in? We you didn't. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but I mean in real life. Hello. 
Anyway, I'm organizing all of my clothes. This looks very unorganized, but this is all stuff that is going on my Depop. So like I said, make sure you check out my Depop. And then that little pile there is only the stuff I'm keeping. Yeah, this is pretty much all going on my Depop. Um, some of it has already sold, so that is today's task. I've not even looked at any of my like bedroom stuff yet. It's just this clothes just needs to be done. Hi guys, so it's actually a few days later now. So since the last clip that you saw where my living room is an entire mess, my living room is now not a mess at all um but i basically have sorted through all my clothes now there's loads and loads of stuff on my depot oh my god though before i go i need to give you my little rundown on that film 365 days why do i keep saying 365 365 days that film that i've just seen all over tiktok so i finished it off last night honestly one of the worst films i've ever seen in my life like the storyline in it is so Bad. The only like oh my god moment in it is the two really explicit sex scenes in it. Honestly, would not even recommend you to watch because the storyline is so bad and the ending is just so dumb and stupid. I wouldn't really recommend that film, especially if you want to watch it with your family. Do not. I would watch it in your own time if you do. It was a weird one, you know, but I feel like I just had to watch it because everyone's been talking about it. But yeah, that's the lowdown on the film. I just thought I'd end this vlog here because there's not really much else to vlog, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I do have loads of exciting new videos coming soon. But make sure you leave me some video requests down in the description box down below so I can actually start planning some more videos. Um, but yeah, anyway, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!